Hello everyone, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. So, next mini game we have on the list is Heavy Weapon. Now, this is a completely different mini game, unlike the rest, because this is actually an Xbox 360 and a PS3 exclusive. You actually move around a lawnmower at the bottom, and you fire your gun, I guess it's peas, with the thumbsticks of the controller. It's kind of impressive, you know, that they had this mechanic out. But, uh, actually, I think the reason why they added this in, specifically, is because this was based off of another PopCap game called Heavy Weapon, which is based on the same name. And I kind of want to showcase that game in this video. In other words, this is just, uh, uh basically playing Plants vs. Zombies, except without using plants. You just have lawnmowers do all the work for you. And you just have this guy at the bottom just shooting everybody. They're just sitting ducks, so, like, you just shoot them all you want. But there's gonna be a lot more of them, and they're gonna be a lot tougher. And before you know it, you're probably gonna get swarmed with them, so... That's why I keep some of these others in mind, where it's like... You go into, uh... You collect as much sun as you can, so you can upgrade your lawnmower, or whatever it's called. I guess it's your heavy weapon. It, it really doesn't matter at this point. You just fire away kill everything and you're good you can upgrade it to like cattails or whatever uh, I, ch I choose to do so sometimes but other times I just go for uh, a torch wood or something whatever works I, I I don't even remember using cattails that often cattails are nice they're really nice in survival endless mode I know a lot of people in the comment section said I should have used cattails but uh oh well that video was a few years old <laughs> Oh, well, nothing I can do about it now, but I can upgrade into a three-peater, which is nice. And then I have to collect seven more sun to get my first cattail. And I think from here, you just gotta just keep shooting everything until... Oh, the first flag's almost over. Yeah, this, the first wave is actually done. Yeah, I think most of these minigames in Plants vs. Zombies are just really easy. But I know the game's gonna pick up the pace by the time, you know, the next wave shows up, right? Here it comes. Oh, yep, here are the bungee zombies. I saw that coming. All right, well, I think the closer, like, a strong zombie is, the easier I can take it out. Like this football zombie right here, he has no chance. Look at this. Look at this. Sit down. <laughs> it's just that easy, man. It's funny enough how this game has a lot of exclusive mini games, depending on the system. Like, I know a Nintendo DS has exclusive minigames, and I now actually have capture for Nintendo DS, so I kind of want to cover that as well for when that time comes. I'm not sure. I'm kind of slow on these Plants vs. Zombies videos. I just upload these videos whenever I feel like it, honestly. It's just like, it's a playthrough of mine that's continuously on hiatus. Like, there's no start or finish to it. I just pretty much upload this whenever I want. <laughs> I really should create an upload schedule, but, you know, life go burr and all that. So, it is what it is. Oh, here comes the cattails. I think the cattails are automatic, right? They are. So, I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, having them to aim. They just lock on. So, watch this. We got the cattails and the peas attacking the foot soldier. No, actually, no. The, the football zombie all at once. I'm thinking of Garden Warfare. Uh, yeah, and I guess I can just... Uh, I don't know what the maximum amount of cattails there are, but I'm gonna keep saving up. Or maybe there isn't a limit. I could just keep going. Oh, here comes our first Gargantuar. Oh yeah, th that could be a bit of a problem. Yeah, but he's at the bottom, so it's not too bad. I can probably just take him out, like, right here. I think zombies overall, like, a normal zombie takes, like, 10 hits from a pea shooter. And then after that, it's just, like, it depends on how much armor they have, and then they're good. Okay, this could be bad. Okay, wait. Oh no, I forgot about the imp. It's okay. He can stall. I gotta take these guys out first. Good thing I have three Peters, so I can do that. Alright, now he can die. Oh, I can get a second one. Oh yeah, this is... I think I should. Oh, you know what I also could do whenever I'm in deep crap? I could also pull out a Doom Shroom. The, the weapon that John hates the most. Apparently. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was great, trolling him with the Doom Shroom back in PvZ Versus. That was great. I loved that so much. 
Oh, but this game is almost over. We're almost done with the second wave or second flag, whatever it is. Yeah, but this is not actually that bad. I'm actually pulling through really well. Are we gonna get a third cattail in? Oh, so it's not automatic. It's, it depends on when I use the right thumbstick. The cattails just work automatically. When I use the trigger, so it just doesn't go whenever it wants. It just it just goes when I tell it to go. That makes a little bit of sense, but still, it's very inconsistent. Oh, that that foot the uh, all star on the top might be a bit of a problem. I don't know. I might. Okay, that could be bad. Oh, what's that? No, it didn't kill it. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill it. Okay, so maybe the Doom Shroom isn't the best thing to use. Does it just choose where it goes, or... I don't know what I was supposed to do about that. It didn't tell me. Wow. They made this game way too easy. Like, the lawnmower kept saving me, bro. Like, that's crazy. I probably could have just used that to spend it on another cattail, but, uh... I don't know. Am I at the map? No! No! Get out of here. Oh my god, there's another one. Hold up. Hold up, I gotta get the money. Wait, I could use this actually. Wait, slow him down. Why didn't I do this before? I'm an idiot. Oh, but I could have used the torch wood too. That could Why did they put both of them in that row? That's not fair. Oh my god. Wow, they really did me dirty with that. Oh, please, no. Okay, they're just normal. They're normal zombies. That's fine. This is the final wave. But that's really uncalled for, that they just put all the strongest zombies in the furthest row that I can't reach them in. I've never played the actual heavy weapon pop cap game, but I'm willing to try it because it's actually pretty interesting. Hold up, hold up. Wait, can I... Oh, I'm not going to make it up. Oh, yep, there he goes. Yeah, they just they just killed off three of my lawnmowers. I suck. I, I suck a lot of ass. That's that's wonderful. Well, hey, the mini game's done. I just they just costed me a bunch of money, I guess. That's what that was. But I'm not done with this video just yet. I actually want to show you what the actual heavy weapon game is made by Popcap. It's actually on Xbox Game Pass, so I can just get it with ease. I'll be right back. So this is heavy weapon. This is the actual game. This is gonna be interesting. I already unlocked a gamer picture. How? I just started up the game. Uh, how, I guess I deploy? Uh, mission. Oh, there's cutscenes. This is Freedom's Last Stand. Send in the atomic tank. Oh. Oh, what kind of land is this? Sure. Invade? Yeah, so this is just like the Plants vs. Zombies game. Wait, I want to see what this looks like. Tundra Flats. Oh, I get it. You're shooting things out of the sky. You're shooting up planes. Oh, this is like PVZ. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Play tip. No, I don't, I don't need that. I don't know what that was. Oh, I'm not supposed to shoot at helicopters. Well, that's too bad. I, too late now. Oh, rapid fire. Whoa. Okay, this is actually pretty fun. Whoa, this is cool. I mean, if this is if this has a story mode, I might want to do a playthrough of this. I don't know exactly. It, it, it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, you can upgrade your actual tank and everything. I, I get why Plants vs. Zombies kind of made a game kind of like this. Made it like a little reference to their other games, a little homage. It's like, you know, they, to advertise the other great games made by PopCap from back in the day. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I keep shooting my own allies by accident. This is pretty bad. <laughs> I, do, I don't discriminate. I just shoot whatever the hell's in the sky. Okay, don't shoot that. Good. Everything else could just fucking die. They just blow up a horrendous death. This one tank, how much fucking firepower does it have? Holy crap. Destroy everything! <laughs> oh, I, apparently there could all like I I think this is only the mission mode, but I think there was also like PvP mode and like other stuff. I don't know what the the rest of the I don't know what the hell. Activate nukes? Nuke? 
Homing missiles? Where? Where? Whoa, what the hell is that? Is that a boss? It is the boss. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just cheated the boss. Are you kidding me? That was the first boss? That's pretty awesome. Well, that was Heavy Weapon. I think I might want to play more of this game. <laughs> Alright, well, back to Plants vs. Zombies. I just wanted to show you what the Heavy Weapon game looks like. So now that you saw that the Heavy Weapon minigame is pretty similar to the Plants vs. Zombies counterpart, we actually unlocked Seeing Stars, but the next video is going to be Begooled. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you all so much for watching.